Hello. Um, today I want to talk about a movie I saw uh, not that long ago. Uh, the Whale, um, starring Brendan Fraser as uh, Charlie. And um, yeah, this is a uh, this is a very good film. Um, I'm not going to go into any specifics, but um, you know, you know. Charlie is a um, uh, like a six hundred pound English teacher who is you know he's gay and he uh, left his family that he had a wife and daughter and um, he you know, uh, he left them for a, a man who was a student of his who. Over the course of the film, you know, you know, he, you know, he died, and then um, basically was over reading in the uh, to basically uh, grieve and just uh, overindulged in him in doing so, and uh, you know, throughout the film, we see. Um, his, uh, uh, you know, a, a friend of his turned out to be the, you know, the brother of his boyfriend, um, Liz, who's a nurse, who comes in and checks on him to make sure things are as fine as they can be, and, um, you know, and there's a, you know, like a missionary who comes in and has helped him at the beginning of, like, making sure he's all right and uh his daughter uh returns later and um uh, it, that we later see his uh ex-wife and it's yeah i don't want to really <laughs> overall like that's the overall gist and how you know over the course of like a week we see how things basically are we know about charlie and liz and Sadie and you know Thomas, the guy who's a, a, a <clears throat> who uh, is a missionary from Mount Marion. You know everybody in the film does an excellent job acting, but Brendan Fraser is the clear standout. He's obviously the one who gets the most praise, and rightfully so. Um, but everyone else does an excellent job too, and you know any praise they get is just as deserving too um i've heard a lot about this film and how like it's a, it's very manipulative and i'm trying to trick you and this and that and people complain about how you know they didn't get an actual person of 600 pounds to play this character of charlie but you know it's called acting you know he's acting you know he has never been 600 pounds you know, he had he did gain some weight, I believe, if, I'm, if I recall correctly. You know, I had a weight partially for like a. I think it's this film. Though I've also heard for like you know, Killers of the Flower Moon, the Martin Scorsese film that he uh, is in. That's going to come out this year. Which is supposed to be last year, um, but he, uh, you know, he, you know, gained some weight for a part, and and from that they also. Uh, created a suit for him to wear and um yeah i mean i you know i think those claims of should have had a, a a person of that kind of weight to play that character is kind of ridiculous because again it's acting you know and, um you know and who knows perhaps if you know if you're able to find a person who was of that kind of size would they have been able to truly been able to have given as good of a performance in Brendan, as Brendan Fraser did? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. But, you know, it's good to have an actual actor playing that kind of part. That's my thoughts on it. I don't think I'm alone in that, but I don't know. Uh, the people who are, you know, criticizing the film for that, um, they seem to be a, 
uh, a vocal minority uh, from what it seems like like you know they want to complain about the film in one way and that's a way to do it in addition to like it's a very manipulative but you know all films and tv shows are essentially manipulative you know be it the writing the editing the direction the acting whatever or, or if it's all good the combination of all the things that i do know sometimes if you cut certain things in a certain way you know a scene can be one be perceived one way whereas if it was originally shot and put together one way you know if it's cut a certain way the entire feel can be like of a scene or, or two can feel one way but if you cut it differently you have a completely different context you know it's all manipulative obviously all films and shows and even books all that kind of stuff and games if you're interested in video games they're all manipulative you know if there's good characters or stories or at least uh, characters and st uh, story that's very interesting and uh, at least able to keep you engaged um and um but you know uh brendan fraser does an excellent job you know I've, I've, again everyone does a, a great job you know there aren't that many people in the film but you know but brendan fraser is excellent he's fantastic you know this is seen as a comeback for him um i've always liked him since i was young saw george of the jungle um you know uh, blast from the past mummy films and you know as i got older saw other films of his like you know, gods of monsters and um or at least, at least he was in you know uh, uh school ties and uh you know other films like you know at a time i might have been too young to see but i've always liked brennan fraser as an actor he's always been good you know you know maybe he didn't always uh like uh pick the best parts at times or projects but you know that's either you know sometimes you gotta make certain choices you know and i know he had a family you know, or has a family you know i had kids and he got divorced so you know i'm sure at some point you know he you know he took a certain projects you know as a way to not just you know uh not just because he really enjoyed the script and the characters and all that good stuff that would come with it, but also, you know, if there's a decent paycheck in it, you know, especially when you no know, one gets divorced and has to, you know, pay, like, child support and alimony and such, you know, you uh, gotta make sure you have enough money to do so. And, um, you know, this film is really good. Um, I don't know if this is my, this would not be, I don't think, my favorite film of the year, but it's, it's definitely good. Um, uh, maybe I'll have a list of the top 10 favorite films of 2022. You know, I could definitely see this being on it, but, you know, uh, I, don't know I, I, I enjoyed this film very much. You know, got to see it in a theater. Um, I know in some places it's out of theaters now or going out of theaters. And I thought, I want to see this until before it's just, you know, uh, out of theaters. And it was a very good film. You know, very emotional, you know, very sad. Um, I didn't really feel manipulated into feeling sorry or anything. I mean, you know, the characters, they all have... Uh, They've all done things they shouldn't have done, and um, certain qualities that you know they want to try to change and be better, and all that. It's it's at least it, it appears to be from from my uh, perspective of just seeing it for the first time. So again, you know, perhaps if I see it again, uh, maybe some characters I might think you know want to improve and change. Might not, you know, I might not think so, but though, I don't know, uh, the character of Mary played by uh, Samantha Mortensen, Mortensen um, <clears throat> I'm feeling I'm just butchered her last name for no legal reason, but 
you know, she, um, you know, she's always an excellent actress in anything she's in. Um, and she doesn't have a whole lot of screen time compared to others. And, you know, I don't want to, again, spoil <laughs> too much, but, you know, uh, her scenes are very, uh, what she's, uh, uh, what she does is a uh, very, very powerful that's the best way i can put it it's, it's she's just very uh, she's very good in what she has to uh for what she's working with and everything and um of course the director is darren aronofsky who um you know made uh requiem for a dream black swan pie and um you know it's, she uh, uh it, he, he's a very good director from the films i've seen of his um I haven't seen every single film of his, but, you know, from the ones I have seen, I enjoy. Um, I didn't see Mother, but I've heard that was kind of, eh, not the best film. And um heard mixed responses with Noah, but I think this film was pretty, pretty good. Um, um, you know, I don't know. I mean, I might be hesitant and say it was excellent or anything of that sort. I might have thought that initially when I got out, just because of you know the acting and the story and everything, just how everything just came together. It's just it's just a very you know it's just it's just very uh, just very well done. You know, it's based on a play, and um, yeah, never seen the play, um, but I don't think that's a major problem. You know, the film as it is is fine it's able to uh be uh well acted and well written and uh yeah um you know i know accolades don't really mean much but um brendan fraser uh got nominated for a golden globe he did not win um so i haven't seen elvis so i can't comment on whether or not i think um whether i think you know uh, it should have gone to Austin Butler, so I don't want to say it shouldn't have, but from The Whale, you know, I would have liked to have seen uh, Brendan Fraser win, um, though perhaps part of why he didn't win, you know, you know, I, I know there's also the fact that it was, he was like the only nomination The Whale got, and, you know, a lot of these award shows, like, unless you give a complete stellar performance where, when it comes to these award ceremonies where everybody just has to vote for that performance, be it a, be the actor or actress, uh, um, being the lead or the uh, supporting, you know, you know, if that's the only nomination, like, it has to be truly exceptional. And, um, Brandon Fraser for me was truly exceptional. He was a, an amazing, uh, amazing, uh, He was amazing in this. That's just, you know, I could, I could, there's only so much I could say about him. But, you know, again, you know, there might be some people who might not have been able to see this so far. Um, maybe it's not in a theater that is nearby. Um, but, yeah, I think it was very well done. Um, well acted and written and directed very competently. Um, I don't want to say this is the best Aronofsky film that he has made. I do like Black Swan or uh, Requiem for a Dream more, but um, this film is uh, quite good uh, overall. I I know uh, Brandon Fraser won the Critics' Choice Award for Best Actor, so great, good for him. I'm happy with that, um, and I just hope you know the best for him you know not just for award season um because you know i mean you know but his his career you know it seems like it's been picking up you know he's on doom patrol the uh comic book series you know from dc you know so you know that's great you know and uh he's doing other stuff you know of course the whale just got a lot of acclaim for this film as well as 
he is in a Martin Scorsese film out this year. So I am really happy that he's basically getting a renaissance. You know, uh, Brandon Fraser has always been an excellent actor. Um, yeah, he's he's just always been incredible, and just I I, I really enjoyed uh, uh, the performance he gave and the interactions with the characters. And now you know, you know, there's some at odds with the uh, the religious guy in the film and the other characters. You know, and how you know he. he Seems to be completely genuine and wanting to help people, you know. And you know, God's put him on a mission, and he wants to do what he can to help people, even beyond simple missionary things of what like is sort of expected. And I think that's actually pretty, uh, uh, pretty cool and interesting. And the character is that character is quite interesting, um, the, Thomas. Yeah, it's uh, and his interactions with Charlie are quite fascinating. I think it's just, yeah, I I think some of those were scenes were some of the best of the film personally. But um, yeah, I just I I just enjoyed this film for you know for the the story. You know, it is sad, but. You know, if that's fine with you, you know, I'm not the I'm not the biggest fan of, you know, films that are kind of give you a lot of emotions like that of sadness and such. But sometimes, you know, they could be done well. Sometimes, I mean, I don't know. again, every film is manipulative, but I don't know. I don't wouldn't say this is a such a manipulative film that it makes you feel just to make you feel overtly sad, but it's just trying to like. The way I see it is to tell a story about a guy who, you know, has made mistakes and because of how he's been living and going about, like, you know, he's like over 600 pounds, you know, like death is fairly imminent for him and how these days and his interactions like with his daughter and such and how that will culminate in making him, you know, trying to yeah, just just trying to reconcile with uh, certain people uh, in his life you know it's a very good film I enjoyed it um, if you enjoy if you like Brandon Fraser and the performances he has given over the years I think you'll like this film um you like Darren Aronofsky I think you you may enjoy this film you know uh, again you might like other films more than this but uh, this is not a bad film at all I don't think um, I don't think it's overtly manipulative but again that's me but yeah I hope all of you are doing well hope all of you are having a great day and uh, have a great week but i hope your weekend was excellent see you all next time bye